Hi, my name is Megan Crone, and I am an academic writing coach and editor. This is a series of videos to show viewers how to do APA 7th edition style in Microsoft Word. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do page numbers when different elements of your paper need to have different page numbers on them. One really common way to do it, especially for dissertations and theses, is to have a title page with no page number. Then, starting with the front matter, which would include your abstract, acknowledgments, dedication, table of contents, list of tables, list of figures, and anything else that your submission requires, often have page numbers that are Roman numerals, lowercase, and centered at the bottom of the paper. So that would be the same here for the table of contents. Then, starting with the content of the paper, and might be chapter one if you're working on a dissertation, you want to have Arabic numerals in the top right hand corner. So to do that, we need to take advantage of the function called section breaks in Word. Section breaks can be really useful for a lot of different elements of formatting, and today I'm just going to focus on page numbers. So what I want to do is divide my paper into two sections. It might seem like I want three because my title page, then my front matter, then the body of the paper, but really I just need two and I'll show you why in a little bit. So what I want to do is come to the first section that I want to be different, which is here with the body of my paper. I don't want to go to page break or any of these elements here in the insert. What I want to do is to go into layout, and then there's a lot of different options for types of breaks. What I'm going to select here is the continuous break. That way, you don't see the break in the paper. There's no extra page, but there is cues in here telling Word that this is a new section. Then what you're going to do is go to insert and there's a place here for page number. Again, we want top of the page right aligned. So I'm just going to click that. It'll do it automatically. And you can see now there's page numbers in all of these pages for body of the paper. I want to double check though, because right now this font does not match the body of my paper. So I'm going to change this to match the body of my paper, which is Times New Roman. 12 point font, which is very common. However, APA 7 does have a lot of different options for font. So if you have a different preference, uh, make sure that you're checking in with your institution or wherever you're submitting your document about their font requirements. So now that looks good. The only issue is it says same as previous, and I don't want this to match because right now what that means is that when I scroll up, we've got page numbers here also, and I do not want these page numbers here. So I'm going to just double click into my header again. And now that it says same as previous section two, and it's highlighted here, link to previous. So I'm going to unlink that. That way, my section two header is going to look different than my section one header. And you can see all I can do here is double click. I can delete this page number. And now I look good again, right? My body of my paper starts with page one. All of the other pages have matching consecutive page numbers, but there are no page numbers yet in the front matter. So next what I want to do is go up here to my front matter, which I'm going to include my table of contents. Again, I'll show you why I can do that. So I'm going to again go to insert, page number, bottom of the page, and I want to choose this centered bottom of the page. You can see that does put a page number on page one. What I can do here though, is in my header and footer options, I can have a different first page. So if I click this box, that page number disappears and now I have a nice clean title page. And then starting here, I have page two, which is common. Some institutions every now and then will want this to be page one, but usually this is page two. So I want to change this to both Times New Roman and again, 12 point font. And now I want to change it to Roman numerals because I'm not supposed to be using Arabic numerals in the front matter. So I'm going to highlight it, right click. It's going to bring up a whole bunch of options. I want to format my page numbers. So when I click this, it gives the different types of format. So I can switch it to Arabic. Another nice thing it does here is that if there are different requirements for types of page numbers, you can change to continue from the previous section. This is section one, but if I were on section two, you can say to start at a specific number. So you can change these things 
to fit your submission requirements. So when I hit OK, now I, again, I have a clean title page. And when I scroll down to my abstract, I've got my Roman numerals, lowercase, centered at the bottom of the paper. They're also here on the table of contents. However, there are also page numbers here. So this is something that can be frustrating because you're figuring out why these page numbers are popping up in weird places. The reason that'll do that is again, because I, while I unlinked my header, I did not unlink my footer and these are linked separately. So I'm going to unlink this. Now I can delete this page number and it looks good. So I've got my page number here where it's supposed to be for the body of the paper, page number here where it's supposed to be for the front matter and no other page numbers muddying it up. So my page numbers are all good here. If you want to take one last step and update your automatic table of contents, which I showed in another video, you are going to go to your table of contents. It should pop up update table. Sometimes you have to right click to get it to pop up correctly. If I click that, I have the option to update this entire table, but I already have it formatted how I like, and I didn't change anything but the page numbers. So I'm just going to do page numbers only. And there we go. It shifted from my previous page numbers when I didn't have uh, pagination set intentionally to my abstract on two and then starting with my body of the paper on page one and everything matches. So that's it for page numbers today. I'd love to hear your requests for other things to learn through Microsoft Word to make formatting easier on Microsoft Word for APA 7. Thanks for watching.